Okay, so today we're going to talk about a MIDI effect called Note Echo. And as you can see, it comes under the MIDI effects folders. And it's one of these old, used to be one of these Macs for Live devices, but it's now part of the standard Ableton Live suite. And I'm really glad it is because I never used Macs for Live much, but this one is a really useful tool. And I think if you just look at it, you don't think much of it. You think, oh, it's just Note Echo and it's just a MIDI effect. But actually, it's pretty creative and it's very helpful in coming up with some pretty interesting stuff. So let's start by demonstrating how this works. So what I've got here first is I've got a drum rack and I've got this Lin drum core kit. So we'll just hear how it sounds. At the moment, I've just placed a bass drum, a kick drum on the first track and it's just looping at the moment. So let's now uh, apply the note echo. So it's going to start pretty much immediately. And what, the way it works is these delay times are based on 16th notes. You can have, you know, one out of every 16th note playing, and that's going to be faster than 16 out of every 16 notes. So let's just go and start with four. And it's going to just loop through this. Triggering that MIDI every four out of 16 notes. So if we click five, it will sound a bit different. If we click six, it will sound a bit different. And eight. And that's delay time based on the DAW sync rate, but we can, for example, make it based on milliseconds. So let's just try this. So obviously the shorter it is, the more kind of you can feel the effect. So some interesting sort of sounds there, but we're just going to go back to sync for now. And the other thing I wanted to show you was the feedback button. Feedback basically is the amount of delay. If you have 100 feedback, the delay will just never finish. Let's just go and bring the feedback up to 100%. This is just going to keep delaying basically forever. <laughs> I mean, it might, it might fade out, but it's unlikely. Now, if we just bring this feedback down again so it stops. Yeah, there you go and we just reduce the feed delay. You'll hear the lower velocities, and we'll bring that to 100 actually, and we'll start again. See, so you can hear that delay is lower, even though it's going to feedback basically forever. But all of this is pretty cool theory, but I actually wanna make some music with this because that's where the fun begins. Just reduce that feedback quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep looping this. We're gonna forget about feedback, keep the feedback low, and I'm going to just duplicate the core drum kit. I'm going to move that kick drum in the second track to a snare. And let's just move that to a, um, let's just keep that at eight and move the kick back to four because that's going to play faster. So that's, that's a pretty standard sounding uh, kick and drum thing, but let's just go back to the snare here and just change it so it's a bit more interesting. Let's reduce that feed delay. And now let's just duplicate that and bring a, a hi-hat in. So in this one here, we're going to replace that with a hi-hat note. And let's listen to that. Now let's just make that really fast. We can um, change that, ch change the, um, the tune there. No, actually that was fine. And reduce the level of the hi-hat. Okay, now I'm gonna just now duplicate that hi-hat again. And I've just uh, pressed space and to stop that. I'm just gonna bring in a vocal sample. Anyone will do. I haven't practiced this, by the way. So I'm just basically, whatever comes up, I will just use. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's just use that one. So on the hi-hats, I'm going to replace that with this random vocal. So let's just move, um, let's just change some of the delay times for that. So you can hear that, that sounds pretty cool.
Okay, let's just do, let's just bring in another. <laughs> Why not? Let's bring in another vocal and we'll just duplicate this one again. Once again, I don't know what I'm going to get here. That will do. So I'll just get that and I'll move that into that same slot. Now, if, if, if it's not really starting on the transient, we can always move things around. Let's change this one here. So we can change where that begins here. Let's just get that going a bit faster. We'll just repand them. So that's really useful and really, you know, cool way of using the note echo with a drum rack. Let's just use it with a bass line now. So I'm going to bring in a repro funk, funk, and it's going to be the same. I'm just going to duplicate that note. Just take those vocals off so it doesn't distract me from what I'm trying to do. And then we just go into the uh, MIDI effects and bring that another note echo here. Now this is where pitch will really work. So this will just repeat uh, notes based on the pitch. Let's just reduce that feedback so it doesn't go overboard. And the delay. Uh, feed, uh, uh, the velocity, sorry. Now, what you can do to further spice this up is to bring in a different MIDI effect um, called scale. You don't need this, it's just a extra option. So just put an a, a minor scale here. So that's an option if you want to use it. But actually, I think it sounded fine without that. Now what we can do now is duplicate that repro again and uh, try a different uh, delay time. So the same pitch, but just different delay time. So we can go in and just now start tweaking the original bass sound. And then you can start, you know, tweaking that to your taste. Let's just bring those vocals back in. Let's change the instrument a bit now. So I'm now not syncing this particular instrument. Let's go in and just tweak that a bit. Of course, you can go in and um, you know do some automation.
there you go so <laughs> that is as you can tell i'm having a lot of fun with this you can do quite a lot with a note echo effect and i hope some of the stuff i demonstrated does inspire you to go ahead and you know use it and you can play the stuff live so if you really get this set up in the proper way you really have a really cool really useful live performance function so just check it out it's called note echo and i think you'll really like it so until next time, thank you and bye.